Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical uh, circles fully inscribed uh, in a semi-circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the centers of these identical circles are N, P, and uh, Q. And moreover, the area of uh, each of these uh, circles is uh, pi centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, semi-circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, we know the area of each of these uh, small uh, circles is uh, pi centimeter square. And now we are going to calculate the radius uh, of uh, these uh, small circles. Let me label uh, the radius of these uh, small circles, uh, lowercase r. And since uh, these uh, circles are identical, so each of these uh, radius is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius of these uh, small circles. And since the area of these uh, circle has been given to us uh, as uh, pi, so therefore I'm going to replace this part uh, by pi. So therefore it's going to become uh, pi equal to pi r square. Let's divide both sides by pi. So therefore our radius r square turns out to be 1. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our radius r turns out to be positive one so thus the radius uh, of these uh, identical circles uh, turns out to be one centimeter and here's our next step let's assume that the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle uh, is uh, x uh, centimeter and here's our next step i have connected uh, these uh, centers uh, p and uh, q and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. The centers and the point of contact uh, are uh, collinear. So no wonder these centers P and Q and this uh, point of contact, uh, they are uh, on the same uh, line. And in this next step, I have connected uh, this uh, center O with this center Q and this uh, point of tangency C as well. And once again, uh, these uh, three points uh, are uh, collinear as well. And here in this next step, I have connected uh, this center P with this center O such that uh, this OP is the radius of this uh, circle. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent uh, will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees since this is our radius and this is our tangent line. So therefore, this uh, triangle OPQ is our right uh, triangle. And now let's make an observation. We know the radius of this uh, circle is uh, 1. So therefore, this OP, this is the radius, is going to be 1 centimeter. And this uh, PQ is going to be 1 plus 1 radius. That is going to be 2 centimeter. And moreover, we know that this uh, OC is the radius of this uh, semicircle, which is uh, x and this uh, qc is the radius of this uh, circle which is uh, one centimeter so therefore uh, this uh, length uh, oq is going to be x uh, minus uh, one and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, opq and we are going to use the pythagorean theorem to solve for uh, x and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 1, 1 square plus uh, B in our case is uh, 2 whole square equal to X uh, minus uh, 1 whole square. So let's go ahead and simplify. That's going to give us 1 plus 4 equals 2. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity A minus B whole square could be written as A square minus 2AB plus uh, B square. We are going to apply it on the right hand side. So this is going to give us uh, x square minus uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 1. And now we can see 1 cancels out with this uh, 1. 
and let's move this four on the other side. So therefore we are ended up with uh, x square minus uh, 2x minus uh, 4 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve for uh, x uh, by using the quadratic uh, formula. And here's our quadratic formula that we will be using. And now we can see our coefficient a is 1, our coefficient uh, b is negative 2 and our constant c is uh, negative 4. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula. So x is going to be minus uh, and then b is uh, negative 2 plus or uh, minus uh, the square root of uh, negative 2 whole square minus 4 times a is 1, c is uh, negative 4 all over 2 times a is 1 and now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore so we got 2 plus r minus square root of 20 divided by 2 and in this next step we can see that square root of 20 i have copied it down over here and could be simplified as 2 times square root of 5 as you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, square root of 20 by 2 times uh, square root of uh, 5. And here in this uh, next step, I can uh, write uh, this fraction as a partial fraction as uh, x could be written as uh, 2 divided by 2 plus uh, r minus uh, 2 times square root of 5 uh, divided by 2 as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, reduces to x equal to 1 plus r minus square root of 5 and now let's go ahead and split these positive and negative signs as you can see in this next step one with a positive sign another with a negative sign and now we can see that this is going to give us a negative value and since x is the length so this is not possible so therefore we are going to accept this 1 plus square root of 5 value and we are going to reject uh, this uh, negative value and now we know that uh, x represents the semicircle uh, radius so thus the semicircle radius turns out to be 1 plus uh, square root of 5 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again area equals to pi r square and in our case the semicircle uh, radius is 1 plus uh, square root of 5 and since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle so therefore I am going to divide this one by 2 so therefore the area of this uh, semicircle is going to be equal to pi divided by 2 times uh, the radius is 1 plus uh, square root of 5 uh, whole uh, square and now let's focus on this uh, 1 plus square root of 5 whole square and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square so therefore uh, this thing could be written as 1 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 5 plus uh, 5 let's combine the like terms so this could be written as 6 uh, plus 2 times the square root of 5 let me go ahead and factor out 2 so 2 is going to be outside and this is going to become 3 plus square root of 5 so therefore I'm going to replace this 1 plus square root of 5 whole square as 2 times 3 plus square root of 5 so therefore I can write pi divided by 2 outside and this I'm going to replace it with 2 times 3 plus square root of 5 and now we can see this 2 and 2 cancels out so therefore our area of this semicircle is going to be pi times 3 plus square root of 5 so thus the area of this big semicircle turns out to be pi times 3 plus square root of 5 centimeter square and that is also going to be equal to 16.45 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye